Hello, folks. Uh, this is podcast, I'm not sure, number four, I think. And uh, with me today is Heather Lectio. She is one of the um, people doing work and uh, in the Athabasca University Landing. And uh, so just to remind people where we are, the University Landing, how can you find Heather's space on the landing? You can go to the unofficial landing podcast. If you type in the search uh, you, uh, for a group, um, you'll find the unofficial landing podcast. And Heather is um, sort of the uh, I'm not the owner a crazy cat lady. I, I just have the one here with me at the moment. But it, uh, hello, it's a pleasure to be on the podcast. It's kind of strange seeing myself on the screen. So if you catch me staring, it's probably because I'm staring at myself. <laughs> oh, that's totally fine. You know, we one of the things, and, and so part of uh, the vodcast series, um, obviously, came off um, your concept of a podcast, and uh, yes. and uh, but a little bit different kinds of things. We've sort of agreed that uh, you know we're in, we're in a little bit different paths. One of mine is really about uh, in the vodcast <laughs> is what kind of stories of use of the landing. And I think you know if you, if you wouldn't mind uh, a couple minutes of or a minute or two of where did you get the idea of doing an unofficial landing podcast. Um, how did that come about? Idea? How'd that come about? Uh, there was actually a discussion about the viability of the landing, and of course that's an ongoing concern uh, with landing about the institutional support for the site, uh, and also uh, trying to develop more of a sense of community. And I think it was uh, oh, what would have been Thanksgiving when the first podcast podcast was uh, recorded. It was quite short, uh, and very experimental but people really seem to like it and they like to the idea of it and I so I've been branching out and, and trying to interview more people on the podcast uh, slowly from both the landing community and the student community um, like you know the idea was mostly to try and reach out a little bit um, we don't really have a strong student media voice in Athabasca uh, for good and for bad I suppose uh, so are we, have you... a, we have a little student media but not much yeah, would so you, a, a would nice you say you're like that. a you're so, would you say you're like an indie radio station? <laughs> uh, Perhaps like a pirated radio station. Pirate right? radio Floating station out there, yeah, yeah broadcasting. <laughs> Pervert. Uh, no, but the landing's very generously given me space for the the podcast files. Uh, we are, of course, the unofficial landing podcast, so we're not officially affiliated with Athabasca University, uh, and it's important to make sure that people know that. So we're not. Uh, a mouthpiece for the institution, right? Uh, but we're also not representing their their views. We're right. only representing our own. So it's it's nice to keep something like that independent because you can you can explore different topics without feeling that you're tied to um, particular kind of optics or particular message. You bet. So is it did this come out of some work that you're doing in your grad studies, or just an interest in radio, or interest in interviewing? I have zero interest in radio. Uh, I'm developing an interest in radio. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I'm new to podcasting, and I think that that shows quite a lot in the podcast uh, files. Well, but uh, so, I, isn't that something you're learning about then in this whole process? I am. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. slowly learning uh, the the skills and the value of editing uh, a podcast interview. Great. And it, I've been learning a bit about interviewing because I. I didn't know how to really do that before. Mm -hmm. I work with the public uh, in my job, and so that comes fairly naturally to me now, and and the back and forth. But but the structure of an interview is it's taking a lot more effort and thought than I ever would have imagined. But I, I am really enjoying the experience. I'm a huge podcast fan. I, I listen to a lot of podcasts, and uh, I listen to a really a lot of great podcasts. So I. Finding it really interesting to, to do my own like this. So it's definitely been fun. But definitely more of a hobby thing. It's not coming out of any research. Um, and it's not it's not being done to try and fill a grant proposal or a scholarship application. It's just something fun to do. And I think for as long as it's fun and people are enjoying it, it'll keep going forward. You bet. Well, one way that uh, you can follow Heather or find out about when the next episode is, just like we did um, 35 minutes ago, is watch The Wire. <clears throat> one of the tools in the landing, again, is The Wire. Uh, if you watch The Wire posts, then you, uh, Heather does post out. Oh, uh, the next day episode is up. And uh, actually, if you're in the in the landing, it'll go right to it. It's nice to see that it's embedded um, or that you can download the uh, podcast. 
Um, and uh, yeah, uh, we look forward to all the different kind of topics. I presume you're open to getting ideas there all the time? Oh, most definitely. Um, we need more people who want to be interviewed, and we definitely need topics. And uh, the latest episode is up, as you say. It's an interview with the Athabasca University president, Dr. Panacock. Um, we have had a knock-knock joke throwdown challenge oh. issue between <laughs> one of the AU recruiters and the AU Grad Student Association uh, president, so you can be assured that there will be a, a live on-air contest, a battle of the wits, uh, cool. and of the knock-knock jokes coming soon. Probably we'll take a break over the next few weeks for the holidays and for uh, the writing of Gigantor term papers. Thank okay. you, Dr. McCutcheon. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, but it, I think you can expect some great things coming in January. And if you want to be involved, if you want to record segments um, or or just be interviewed or just come on and um, do an off knock joke of your own, please let me know. Right on. Well, mm -hmm. We have an email address. Oh, oh, oh I'll no let problem. You, know that as well. you bet. Unofficial landing podcast at gmail.com. Uh, so you can find me on the landing of heather.c. Uh, we also have the Unofficial Landing Podcast group where you can come, leave comments, ask questions, yep. join the blog. Uh, Actually, vote. I'm showing the blue the, the group right now and have been for Great. since you've been speaking. So uh, you can see there's group members, there's a group <laughs> blog files, and uh, it's nice to see that uh, that you know you've got them all up there. So a person can come back and watch them whenever they want. That's right. Um, we're trying to work out a way to get them on iTunes. Uh, oh yes. Part of the problems that we're having right now is the way that the landing truncates uh, file names. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're slowly getting closer to an iTunes feed, but for the moment, uh, you can download the MP3 and then import it into iTunes you bet. Uh, and listen to it that way. It makes excellent must-stop listening. Awesome. Well, <laughs> thank you very much, and uh, good luck. We'll continue to watch it uh, and, and how it evolves over time. And like I said, if you want to interact right. with yes, it... <laughs> Get, awkward pause. Yeah, no, no. Uh, the, the whole idea is to get get connected to the unofficial landing podcast. Thanks, and uh, good luck in future episodes. Thank you.